Hi, welcome to my vlog for the week of graphic novels. I thought I'd vlog this and I'm also starting a day earlier. My plan for today is to go to the park with my dog and give him a little walk. The temperature's like perfect. It's like beginning of fall weather, which I love. So I'm hoping that maybe once he's had a walk and he can calm down and sit, um, we can all just lay down on a blanket and maybe read a little bit. But before all of that, I just washed my face, put on moisturizer, sunblock, and I'm gonna do my face. And while I do all of that, I am watching some books and Lala. Let's watch. Alrighty, let's select what to bring to the park. I don't know what to bring. I think I'm most excited about this one right now, so I'm gonna take this one, and I've had this one out pretty much the longest out of all of these, except for paying the land, I think. So, The Girl from the Sea is the first one. He's been ready for a walk, huh? You've been ready, you've been waiting. Okay. Soccer has taken over the park. What do you think, Sam? Just wants to smell everything. Alright, I'm back home. I got about 50 pages into The Girl from the Sea and I did not know it was like a star-crossed lovers, no, what's true love's kiss, you know, that kind of a trope. So that's kind of interesting. <laughs> Took a nap. It was awesome. Only got a little bit left. Alright, so I finished two books. I did finish The Girl from the Sea. I ended up giving this one three stars. I liked it and I really enjoyed the illustrations. I think I just didn't love the magical elements in it as much. And really this could also go for a main character that's not human. Um, although she is, she's not an animal per se, but she's like kind of a seal, but not really. I think I expected just a little bit more out of this. And I think it had to do with the plot progression and how, like, what the conflict was. Um, there were kind of a few strands of conflict, but the one with the friendship I wish had been a little bit more delved into. It was cute and definitely a summery read as well. It gives a lot of summery vibes and I love the setting. They were kind of like on an island. And then after that I finished Apple of My Pie, which I also rated three stars. I thought it was really cute and a nice uh, book for emerging readers who are into graphic novels. I didn't think this one was as good as Donut Feed the Squirrels. So I thought that one was a little bit more charming and silly and fun. Um, and this one wasn't as much and it kind of felt like you were just dropped into the story a little bit. So. I am done with two books and I'm going to start The Parakeet now. I'll read a little bit of this and then it's time to take Sam for a walk and then I think after that I'm going to go to the store. I need to buy groceries and um, I also need to buy eyebrow pencil because mine ran out. I really like going to Target later at night on Saturdays instead of during the day on Saturdays. <laughs> Good morning. I literally had the worst stomach ache last night. I think I overate. I don't know what happened, but my stomach hurt so bad and I didn't, I couldn't do anything. <laughs> I was just laying there uncomfortable. Um, but anyway, today I am going to do my makeup trial for my wedding in December. So that should be interesting. Um, it's just at a makeup artist's house. It's literally across the street from me, which is really hilarious. Yesterday I was just putting it in my phone trying to figure out like what time I should leave from my house to be there on time and um, it's literally three minutes away so <laughs> I thought that was pretty silly 
So that's on the agenda for today and I really want to finish the parakeet this morning. I'm really enjoying this. Like it's really surprising me and it is giving me David Small vibes in the sense of like how it is illustrated um, and how it's from the point of view of a small child um, dealing with their family situation and that family situation not being a good one. So I'm about halfway through and it's really going quite quick. Um, I thought that it would have a lot more words in it, but yeah, I'm gonna have some breakfast and get ready for my makeup trial. Hopefully it goes well. The other thing I'm definitely gonna do today is clean my house and finish all my chores that I didn't get to yesterday um, and also put out all the fall decor slash Halloween decor that I have because it's almost a month to Halloween, so I think it's like appropriate timing for me to put it out now. Um, I really wanted to put it out earlier in September, but it's too early. <laughs> so that's another goal that I have for today. Breakfast is strawberries. A little noosa, some pancake bread from Trader Joe's, my favorite, coffee. Hello, I don't think I've vlogged all day long. I woke up and I did my makeup trial. I'm still wearing the makeup, so what do you think? Yeah, I've been wearing it since then. It's been 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 hours now, and it's still looking pretty good. There's definitely some things that I would fix. I added more mascara and um, I added an inner corner highlight. I felt weird without it. Um, my lip color has gone away by now. Um, and I also have questions about my concealer. But other than that, I'm really liking it. And when I came home after my, I was all done. I like put my hair up. I think I did both. I did like a hair up, hair down situation. And then I did like a little low bun um, with my dress on to figure out what I wanted to do. And I think I've decided I like it half up, half down with my dress um, and I think that's what I'm gonna do. Now I need to find someone to do my hair for me. Um, but other than that, I have not read all day long. Um, I've been in contact with like everyone, just like sending pictures of what it looked like and asking for advice and trying to figure out what to tell the makeup artist that I want more or less of. I'm gonna finish the Espe book, The Parakeet, and let you know what I think. I just gotta do some laundry. I already did the dishes. <laughs> until the leaves fall and then we can fill these up with some of those leaves and then put them out but still gotta wait for the leaves to fall they're definitely starting to turn so that's gonna come soon well that really hurt the ending of this was really really devastating and i i knew that it was ending soon and something was gonna happen but I still was kind of shocked by the end. I think this is four stars. I think this was really, really well done. Um, and the translation was really seamless. I couldn't really tell that it was translated. It's a very hard book and learning what the parakeet means also. Yeah, I'm sad now. <laughs> um, I don't know what to read next. Um, I was gonna read Blankets, but I feel like that one's gonna be sad as well. So I'm gonna go see upstairs if I can pull something else. Okay, this will totally cheer me up, I think. So I'm gonna read the second installment of Witches of Brooklyn, what the heck? And I am so excited for this. I've literally been looking forward to this since I read the last one. I read the last one February or March of 2021. So I've been looking forward to it this whole time. I'm four cards into a stack of about 100 cards that I need to write to encourage people to vote in the school board election that's coming up in two-ish months. So a lot of work doing it while i watch some youtube it's monday morning now and i finished what the Hex this morning i really really enjoyed it it was lovely to be back in their world and i love this book so much too because of the setting and the the sense of place that you get from this book so it takes place in brooklyn it really mentions like different neighborhoods in brooklyn i also really love how the illustrator creates scenes and 
all of the furniture and like the things in the background it's such a cozy little house and a cozy little neighborhood and i love that so much this would work for a season it was snowing like the whole time so it's definitely a wintry read and i didn't anticipate that i mean they're all like dressed up and warm on the cover but pretty much it's snowing the whole time in the in the book it's 80s day side pony i think i gotta scrunch it up and make it even higher it's not high enough the makeup right it's that purple look that i did the other day that i really liked but way more exaggerated and then these which i never wear hoop earrings and then i have this blazer that's padded so it's perfect and then the shoes situation <laughs> yeah had quite a lot of fun getting dressed today hello so it is now tuesday night and I am sitting down with a few graphic novels to see what I want to pick up and read. I think I'm going to try In the Shadow of the Fallen Towers. And then the other one that's kind of on my mind right now is Threads. So we'll see kind of what I end up reading. I think my updates will be kind of less frequent. I forgot to end this video um, so I want to wrap up the last thing that I totally finished for the week of graphic novels and there were two things that I kind of started but I didn't finish and I need to finish eventually and then I also wanted to mention another book that I finished that has nothing to do with the week of graphic novels but that I finished during this week as my audiobook for the week last graphic novel that I ended up finishing was In the Shadow of the Fallen Towers by Dawn Brown I really really like this and I think it does a great job especially for people who are not alive during 9-11 especially as like an educational tool one thing that i noticed about this is in the beginning it actually explains why the Naudet brothers were with the nyc fire department chief joseph pfeiffer that day um and basically like where so much of the footage comes from 9-11 um that day of because they were literally like blocks away and they were recording this documentary for a whole other purpose just to document about the fire department and they just so happened to be there that day, that day shooting for this documentary and watching the National Geographic um, One Day in America documentary series which I was really really well done that is never mentioned like why they're there and so I liked that this kind of explained to me why it is that uh, that footage was being recorded and like why it was continued to be recorded because it does feel like it's kind of coming out of nowhere and i was a little confused by that watching the documentary series and then at the end i also really liked i guess like like is not the right word but i thought that this part which talks about the statistics and then this afterward too that describes like what happened after 9-11 um and like what the government that did and talked a lot about the war in afghanistan becoming like the longest running american war and as i was reading this it's when all the troops were being pulled out of afghanistan so it just like had another element to it so yes i totally recommend this and um, i thought it was really well done i love all of don brown's books that i've read so far so four stars for this one and then the two that i started but i didn't finish i don't think i'm going to like threads um i don't like i don't like the the illustration style it it kind of scares me it's very intense and i know it's meant to be intense because of the point i also really like i like um kind of like the way that it's it feels like it's clippings from um, like a newspaper is it focusing so it's kind of pulled that's how the text is but I don't like the illustration style I don't like I don't like the way that it looks and then yeah it's, just, it's not not my kind of style so I think I'm gonna return this one to the library and not read it one that I am liking but I haven't finished yet is Blankets um, by Craig Thompson. I had no idea this would deal with religion as much as it is. It is really about um, this young man's life dealing with evangelicalism. And I, I have this feeling that it's he's going to realize like some of the, the shortcomings of the, the culture, especially like how it is um, indoctrinated by not so much the spiritual aspect of it but like the, the aspect of it of what, like you're in a church and these people with authority are telling you what to do I think that's really what he's going to have an issue with um, it does it feels like it's really focused on a romance and I didn't 
think that that was what this was going to be about either. I guess I'm not quite sure what I thought this was going to be and it's kind of different than I anticipated that it was going to be but I think that the storytelling is very good. Just like the way that everything flows together from chapter to chapter I think is really well done. So I am enjoying this one and I do hope to finish it um, but it is really big <laughs> and kind of I stopped last week and then I didn't pick it back up for a while so we'll see. And then the last thing that I finished that has nothing to do with graphic novels is The Anthropocene Reviewed by John Green. I listened to this one on audiobook and it was really kind of a delight and it was something that got me back into audiobooks because I don't remember the last time I finished an audiobook. It's been it's been a while, at least a month at this point I feel like. And um, yeah, this is felt like a tree. It was tender in all the right moments. It was um, full of whimsy in other moments and just made you think and and be introspective about your place in the world and there are just some quirky stories in it as well in typical John Green fashion so if you like his storytelling style I think you would like this I don't think that it's like the most amazing thing that I've ever read but I really enjoyed my time with this and I gave it four stars so that's it for the end of this vlog. I hope that you enjoyed it and the things that I ended up reading. I did not finish all of the challenges and I did not read eight things, but I did have lots of fun and I did read some great things and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.